VACnet was explained by John McDonnell who works at Valve and he also talked about deep learning. In this video, I'll explain VACnet and how it works for CSGO. Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok hallo gebar, Maxime here. So this very interesting conference session on GDC by John McDonald explained how Valve uses deep learning methods to combat cheaters and CSGO. What they did was create the project known as VACnet. VACnet, to begin with, is not something new, it's been in the game for about a year now. It's also not an upgraded version of Valve's anti-cheat known as VAC. It's basically an additional system that can be used for other games as well. So what is VACnet? In short, VACnet works together with Overwatch to bust cheaters by using deep learning. What it does is that it analyzes players and if it thinks that someone is cheating, it sends them to Overwatch. VACnet learns to spot cheaters based on our own judgment skills of who we think is cheating or not. Each time we decide to convict a player for being a cheater or not, VACnet will receive the data, learn from it, and evolve. In the end, the system will become powerful enough to know for sure who's cheating or not. But we are still in charge of convicting players through Overwatch. This means that even if VACnet is 99% sure that someone is cheating, we are still the judges. The most interesting fact for me was, according to Valve, when a human sends people to Overwatch, only 15 to 30% of them get banned. But when VACnet sends people to Overwatch, 80 to 95% are banned. Probably because we love to report players that are simply better than us. Either way, VACnet is very effective and it will only get better and better since they're looping the entire process. VACnet collects the data, gets better and better from Overwatch, it monitors the matches played on matchmaking or wingman, it submits cases to us, we humans determine guilt, and then it repeats the same process over and over again. So right now, to fight cheaters, we need to do as much Overwatch cases we can to remove as much cheaters as possible. Speaking of cheaters, VACnet is currently focused on one type of cheat, aimbot. With aimbot, they can capture lots of information from each shot. For example, what weapon is being used, what was the result, how far was the target, the view angle pitch and jaw, etc, etc. All this becomes a data package which they call atoms. But in order for VACnet to work, it needs more than one atom. And right now, the system is set to 140 atoms or 140 shots. When this data is captured, the system knows when to send someone to Overwatch. Now you might be wondering, for a system like that to check every shot from every player in every match, they probably need like lots of servers to handle all the work, right? Well, that is very true. Since CSGO has about 600,000 matches a day, they need around 1700 CPUs working non-stop just for VACnet to work. I like this bit of information because it puts some perspective into how much people are actually playing matchmaking. And it also shows that they do care about cheaters ruining the game. So the future of VACnet is basically to expand it so it catches other types of cheats and release it for other games and services. I think the idea of VACnet is pretty cool and it's clever by Valve because they're not the ones handing out the game bans. We are. But maybe in the future, the system will be so smart that we won't need to. I'll link the full video so you can watch the conference session down below. What's your thoughts on this? Oh, and remember to do some Overwatch cases. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And go bananas.